Good morning, guys. Welcome to Fishful Thinker. I'm Chad Lachance, and we have a really fun show for you today. We uh, we are at Tomkey Fish Farms of all the crazy places. We are at a fish farm for a Take a Kids Fishing Day that Trace and Sabrina Tomkey put on. It's uh, it's a straight free event for kids to fish, not the adults. All the kids. They stock the pond heavily and it's a major uh, opportunity for kids to get out and catch some great big trout. So we're expecting some of these trout today to be in the five to 10 pound range. All these kids will be fishing all day today. They were here the last couple days as well. More than 500 kids will come through this event before the weekend's over with, and they'll all get a chance to fish and maybe take those fish home as well. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna show you some ways to help teach your kids to catch fish and hopefully some action here from Tom Key Farms while the kids are getting after the trout. Fishful Thinker is brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse, gear up for unforgettable. Berkeley, your fish, our science. Abu Garcia, fish to win. Lawrence, find, navigate, dominate. Okay, so here at Tom Key Fish Farms, it's important to, to point out that these fish are planted for these kids. So this is not a catch and release deal in any way, shape, or form. Uh, these kids are encouraged to harvest the fish, and it's because of the whole circle of life and, and selective harvest and all that. They learn all of that stuff as part of this event. So the facility itself has four ponds. This is the uppermost pond. Uh, this is one that holds a kids event, but there's also three lower ponds, 36 species of fish. So these kids could catch anything from largemouth bass and trout to pike and tiger muskies and everything in between. So it's a really neat facility, but it's important to point out that it's all private. It's all managed and manicured for this to happen. And that's very important that we're not beating up on a public resource or something like that. So, and it's all the sponsors, the various sponsors that, that cover this event, that make it a worthwhile uh, and an available thing for these kids. And kids come from all over the state to come fish it. What do you have for bait out there right now? Um, the power bait that I found on the ground. Oh, nice. So that must be lucky then. There are a bunch of different colors, so I smushed them in a ball. Into one big color? Ooh, now that's a good strategy. Now, now that's what my camera guy, Tim, said uh, is the best plan is to mix all the colors together. So it sounds like you skipped ahead on that one. You must be an expert. Holy schmoly, look at that. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, look at them go. You got a net? All right, I'm going to net this. Oh, I don't have my net. All right, she's got a net right here. Look at this. That kid knows what's up. He yanked that thing right here, Farnsey, right here. Hey, Dad! Oh, nice catch. Well done. Is that the biggest fish you ever caught? No, nah, she's got close. I got one bigger. <laughs> That's a big trout you got there. Are you guys going to eat it? Uh, we ate one last night. There you go. Was it good? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. That's pretty nice. Now, Tomkey stocks these fish, guys. Uh, Trace and Sabrina stock these fish. They are not naturally occurring or anything like that. So this is Noah. This was Noah's second cast of the day. That's a pretty good start. Have you fished here before? Uh, no, this, well, yeah, this is my second time. Your second time, yeah, there you like go. It. Well, and you caught him on a little soft swim bait. I like yeah. that. That's a good choice right here. It. Yeah, he did crush it. Look, he bit it with his teeth. You know what kind of trout that is? Uh, is it, isn't it a type of salmon? Well, I believe that's a, I believe that that is a rainbow trout. It might be a cum loops rainbow. There's all kinds of weird rainbows in here. The Tomkey family puts a lot of them in here, all different kinds, but that's what they look like guys. And these kids are welcome to eat them. In fact, they're encouraged to eat them. So no problem with this fish, we'll get him on ice, but good job, bud. That's awesome. Can I have some knuckles? Well done, man. We'll let you get back to fishing. You got a tournament to win. All right, guys, so this is BJ and Joey. Now, you won last year. Yeah. And what'd you win? Um, I caught a five pound, 11 ounce fish. Yeah. And I got first by just one ounce. By one ounce, yep. nice. What'd you win? Uh, I won a lot of fishing gear. A lot of fishing gear. So a bunch of companies, you know, all the, the, the various retailers and things, Berkeley, a whole bunch of different companies come together to sponsor this event. And of course, the Tomkeys do this out of the goodness of their heart. And, uh, and obviously these kids like it. This is your second year fishing this event then? Yeah. Yeah, well you better get to fishing because right now oh, your yeah. brothers went in. We just put some lines out over there, but I was begging my dad to let me come over here. Ah, this is a good spot. Yeah. I like this spot this right here. This is where we caught our fish last year. Uh, excellent. Well, thank you for bringing your kids thank out here. Uh, where do you live? We live in Colorado Springs. So this is a long drive for you guys. Yep, I'm active duty Army. I'm from Brush, Colorado. 
Gotcha. We have a lot of family out here. So. Well, thanks for your service, yeah, thank and thank you, thank you more importantly also for getting your kids in the outdoors. Oh, they love it. Thank All right. you very much. Get back to fishing, guys. Fishful Thinker is brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse, gear up for unforgettable. Lawrence, find, navigate, dominate. All right, we're here at Tompkins Take Kid Fishing Days, and uh, I thought it would be important to discuss a couple quick things about outfitting your kids for fishing. Now, first of all, unless your kids are three, four, maybe five on the outside, I'm not a fan of the traditional little Snoopy pole you guys are familiar with, the two and a half foot or whatever, all plastic piece. That's great for getting kids casting in the early days, but it's very difficult to make a very good cast with that, and it's even more difficult to get a hook set with that. So I'm a fan of something more like four and a half or five feet long, something like this stick right here it's four and a half feet long it's all all but unbreakable so your kids not likely gonna break it it's a perfect choice and what I would do is put an underspin underneath it and the reason I would do that is because then I can convert to a spinning reel which is why there's not one on here right this minute when the junior gets old enough so if you buy an ugly stick and an underspin you can then uh, move to a spinning reel much easier from there now, when I'm considering uh, an all-purpose setup, I might do something like this, and then I could spend, it's gonna be roughly 17, 18 bucks at Sportsman's Warehouse. Uh, gonna get a little bit of tackle that would work. If I was gonna come fish this event myself, I guarantee you I could catch a few fish with this. It would get you in the ballpark. It's got everything you need. Like I said, 18 bucks out the door, rig it together, it's easy to go. So that's a very simple deal. Now let's say you got a kid that's more like 9, 10, 12 years old. He's been fishing for a while. Some of the kids here we've already introduced you to. Then I'm gonna move up to something a little more quality. Still, it's very short. It's only five feet long. Small spinning reel, it's a Fluger. Again, it's affordable, but this has got enough quality to make really good accurate casts, things like that, which can be important. So if you've got a kid that really likes to fish, I say get him on a spinning reel as soon as possible and get him going. You'll find out that it's not that difficult. The biggest thing is teach him about slack line. So that's important as well. When it comes to lures, I'm a big fan of keeping it simple for kids. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with power bait or marshmallows or something like that. As you've seen here at this event, it's been dominated by kids throwing power bait. If you've got a basic red and white bobber, something like that, put this up the line, put a split shot somewhere in between the, the hook in there, and then a basic little snelled hook. You guys have all seen these, this little snelled hook. I had this one was stuck in the carpet of my truck. It's a basic little snelled hook like that, something in the size six range. It's a good choice all the way around for trout, maybe a little bit smaller than that, maybe a size 10 if you're talking about bluegills. It, with, between the bobber, the split shot, and that hook right there, a little bit of power bait, I'm ready to go. I can catch trout wherever I might be in that, with that situation. Again, if I've got a kid that's 10, 11, 12, he's a more ambitious fisherman, something like an inline spinner, a minnow spin like this, it's a little more active. He can throw and wind, throw and wind can be a really good choice. Or something like the beetle spinner bait if you're in a warm water area where you're dealing with bass ponds and things like that. But very simple, very affordable. Uh, excellent choices for kids to catch some fish with. So at the end of the day, the big thing is keep it simple for them. Make it about the kids. Don't make it about catching fish. Show them the frogs, show them the birds, show them all the things that go on in the ecosystem. It's not just about catching the fish. So keep it simple. Focus on the kids fishing, not you fishing, and you guys will have more fun. There goes Trace in the background to deal with another fish. Tracy, and the, but all the volunteers come. This is your third year interviewing here, right, Sandy, or, or volunteering? Yeah, third or fourth year. Third, I've yeah. Been here quite a bit. And all the volunteers run around and they can handle fish. They're weighing the fish to make sure that everything is legit there. How heavy is that one? 3 1. 3 1, all right. Oh, one ounce. So it's a couple pounds off the lead, but how much fun do all the kids have here? Oh my gosh, they have so much fun. And you know, there is absolutely nothing like hearing the screams and the joy from those kids when they catch that fish. Absolutely. It's amazing. It is. It's a great event that they do and most importantly, it's so important to get all the kids in the outdoors and uh, the volunteers make that you know possible. Sandy's volunteered at Fish Fest as well, which is an event we do in the past and we appreciate all the volunteers as much as we do all the kids. Thank you. We appreciate you. All right. What'd we get? What'd we get? We're going to watch this. Oh, look at this action right here. <laughs> oh, you got a good net, man. Good job. Good job. Look at that. Holy schmoly. Yes. 
Wow, look at that. Look at the colors on that. Can I come down here real quick? Okay. Just come by and say hi. So who caught it? Did you catch it or did you catch it? Got it. How old are you, may I ask? You're four years old. I bet that trout's as many pounds as you are years old. That's a big one. Is that the biggest fish you've ever caught? Yeah? Do, what, do you know what you caught it on? Was it on power bait? Yeah, I think it was on sherbet power bait. Sherbet power bait. Well, that's a beautiful fish. Are you going to eat them? Yeah, there you go. That's the right answer. All right, well, we'll get it off of here and then get some pictures with it, okay? Now guys, right here, this is what it's all about. Now these kids don't maybe get an opportunity to have access to fish like this in any other place you're gonna go where they can come here. Not only that, but also take them home and eat them as well. So beautiful catch you did there. That's a good job. Can I have a high five for good luck? All right. And you're 10 years old and you fished here before and you said you caught a seven pound trout here before? Right there. Very nice. Well, I'll let you get back to fishing. That's a beautiful fish. Catch another one. All right, guys, so that's the stuff right there. Uh, here at Tom Key's Farms, consistently, this is what catches the fish. Uh, everyone's got their favorite color, the glitter, the sherbet, the chartreuse, whatever the case might be, rainbow. But at the end of the day, it catches more fish than anything else. It's one of the simplest ways to get trout caught, uh, whether you be 10 years old or seven years old or a full grown adult, uh, it's a very good way to catch them. Fishful Thinker is brought to you by Lowrance. Find, navigate, dominate. Sportsman's Warehouse. Gear up for unforgettable. All right, so here we are, the proprietors of this event with Trace and Sabrina Tomkey. Now, first of all, I want to point out Sabrina's birthday today. Happy birthday. Thank you. But the gift, to be honest with you, comes from all or comes to all these kids that are here doing this. Now, I believe if I'm correct, you guys have done this event for 10 years. Yes. And this is the 19th event. You do a spring event and a fall event, correct? Correct. Yeah, and so I guess the obvious question is, you do this out of the goodness of your heart, why? The goal is to get uh, kids 14 and under the opportunity to catch hopefully a large fish. Well, large fish would be one way to put it. Now, the fish you stock in here, three to 10 pounds range, right? Three to 15 pounds. Yep. And you stock them for this event. Yep. And then whatever, and they are welcome to keep the fish as well. Yep. And they can use basically any fishing method they want so long as the kids fish and not the adults. Yeah, the only stipulation we ask is no live minnows to kind of even the board. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Okay. Now, um, what's the biggest fish the kids ever caught in here? 15.9. Is it nine? Yes, 59. That's a big trout. It was a trout. Yeah, that's a big trout. Now, I know there's some big ones in here, and you get these fish from all over the place. You've got 36 species of fish in this so facility, is that correct? We raise 36 species that are actually catchable by rod and reel. There are several more, but some of the fish, as you know, are, are really small, like the mosquito fish. Right. You wouldn't fish for them, but right. they're here. Right, right, okay. And you're, some of your premier species besides the trout, because you have, you have Donaldson steelhead in yes. here. You have uh, all sorts of regular rainbows, Kamloops rainbows and stuff Pikes, like that. Bass. Pike, largemouth bass. Yep. Uh, a unique one for this facility, which surprised even me as a saltwater guy, there's even been red drum or redfish stocked in here because those fish are, are freshwater tolerant. Uh, technically, it's a saltwater fish, but they live here as well. Big catfish in here. We stocked 15 of them, and so far they're doing okay. And even some Florida strain largemouth in here, and we're in Colorado. Yeah, yes. So it's a very unique facility, but it's important to point out that it is heavily manicured, heavily managed. As you look around, you can see, and it's a perfect resource for these kids to come do it. Uh, all these local sponsors, you recruit them all yourself? Correct, yes. And uh, we were lucky enough to help with that a little bit over the years, and it's grown and grown and grown every year. There seems like there's more sponsors that help you guys out. Yes, yes, the more kids that we have access to this event, obviously the more sponsors we need to cover the cost of the event and so we just try to expand our reach to get as many people involved as possible so we can continue to do them to offset some of the costs to put them on. And we're talking about something like 500 kids per event, give or take. 
three to five hundred. Yes. Three, three to five hundred every yeah, time you do an event. Absolutely. That's a lot of kids who get to catch some fish. Well, I for one, uh, thank you guys very much for everything you've done for all the kids in Colorado. You know, I met these guys a long time ago. Uh, came out here when this facility was really just getting grow going good. It's grown into an amazing facility at this point and uh, a great resource for people not only here in the Northeast, but there's people from as far as Colorado Springs. So, oh yeah, pretty pretty impressive to see. Out of state even. Out of state even. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's a pretty cool deal, guys. So, Tom Key Fish Farms. You can find them on social media or whatever. Um, you got a website as yep. well, right? Tom Key Farms. Yep. And, uh, and people can check out there. And if you're a Colorado person or maybe Western Kansas, Southern Nebraska, it's worth maybe considering bringing your kids out here as well. So thank you guys for everything you thank do. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at some of the folks that are here fishing at Tomkey's Take Your Kids Fishing Day. And as you can see, they've done a good job of sculpting everything from bathrooms to the landscape for to keep it dry for everybody to be able to fish. These are naturally occurring ponds that he's dammed up. This water just boils out of the ground right here. And that's part of the reason that they can have such a good fish here is because there's a constant flow of water here out in the eastern plains of Colorado and it works out pretty good. So let's talk to some of these guys over here and see what their deal is. What's your name, sir? Winston. Winston. And Winston, are you on the leaderboard right now? Yeah, I'm in fourth place. Fourth place. And how old are you? How old are you? Seven. You're seven. Okay, so Winston's seven. Now, do you remember how you caught your fish? Mm. What did you use for bait? Um, I it was Sherbert Power Bait. Power Bait, Sherbert Power Bait. Now that's a, that's a really good bait. Did you know that Berkeley gave a whole bunch of those baits to this event just so kids like you could catch fish? Now, did, that, did you have your bait on the bottom or was it floating on the surface? How did you have it? I think it was in the bottom. It was on the bottom, okay. And then if you win, do you know what you're gonna win? Yeah. What are you gonna win? I can't, it's too much. Too much stuff. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of fishing tackle. Have you ever fished this vent before? Yeah. You have? Did you win before? No, but my brother got second place uh, one. Oh, there you go. Do you remember how big his fish was? Um, I think it was seven pounds. Seven pounds. And how old's your brother? Um, 10. 10. So not a lot of 10 year olds have caught seven pound trout. And that's one of the cool things about this event is not just that it's stocked, but it's stocked with big fish, lots of fish. It would be no surprise for a kid to pull a 10 or a 12 pound trout out of here, not even close to a surprise. So it's just a matter of time. You think you got a bigger fish in you out here somewhere? Yeah. All right, give me five and it'll be for good luck. Good luck to you. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. Fishful Thinker is brought to you by Berkeley, your fish, our science. Abu Garcia, fish to win. Sportsman's Warehouse, gear up for unforgettable. You know, having done lots of kids events over the years and volunteered here and hosted them ourselves here at Fishful Thinker, one thing I think is the most important part to keep in mind if you're gonna take your kid fishing, and that is, it's your kid's day to fish. It is not your day. So focus on the kids the whole time. Make it about the birds and the frogs and everything besides just the fish. Don't make it about only catching fish. If you didn't catch fish that day, you still might have had a wonderful day. Keep that in mind. Keep it simple as well. I'm a big fan of keeping it simple when you're getting young kids out, especially young kids. And then the other thing that I think is the most important thing about the whole situation when it comes to getting kids in the, in the boat or in the lake is don't get them up at three o'clock in the morning and don't take them out in the freezing cold. When it's really nice out, that's when you wanna take them fishing. I'll be the first to tell you that's not the best time to fish as far as catching fish, but you need your child to be comfortable when they're there. So let them get some sleep, Take them to the lake, take them on a comfortable day, make it an hour or two, not a whole big giant outing, and I think you'll find out that your kids will be more patient than you realize. So it's all about the big picture, it's not about the fish. All right, I heard there was a fish caught over here. We're gonna do it all and get confused and- <laughs> Holy oh smokes! Wow, that was amazing. Look at you, little guy, woo! So who's the lucky angler? Yes, I yes, yes, Who caught, did you catch it? This fish you caught, look at that fish. All right, that's a big one. Good job, buddy. That was an awesome catch. High five, kids. Oh, sorry, guys. That's awesome. 
Did he catch it on the little little rod yeah. too? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, guys, now that's the rod. This is the rod that young Sebastian just caught that four pound trout on, or almost four pound trout. So it goes to show you, you don't have to have a big fancy tackle. We talk about it all the time, but if you've got a four year old out there, a little bit of bait and a good place to fish make all the difference in the world. So let me get the hooks out of the way here. We're gonna be safe. But this year, fishing rod is a lucky one, huh, buddy? Is this your lucky one? Yeah. Yeah, good job. I like it. Well, is this your first day fishing? It is? That's your first fish ever? So while you guys are looking at this girl fighting this fish over here, once again, I'd like to point out, we talk about all the time on Fishful Thinker, inlets, outlets, boat ramps, and dams. Well, the inlet of this lake is right here. It boils out right here. So these guys are effectively fishing in the inlet now. And it uh, looks like they might have got wrapped up in the cattails. But the inlet area so far has been most, most productive here today. Uh, the second most productive area has been the dam over there. So you know, we say inlets, outlets, and boat ramps and dams. Well, that doesn't matter if you're fishing a private pond or a giant reservoir. It all applies. So inlets right there, dams right there. Fish are being caught at both ends, but not in the middle. All right. Giving your ugly stick a workout now. You're getting closer, dude. <laughs> Walk on out there a little bit. Get him. Tighten the, tighten the drag just a little. Oh, he got, got him. <laughs> Holy <laughs> smokes. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> look at that thing. Oh, look at that. You want to beat your record, Johnny? Hey, bro. Hey, good job, dude. Good job. That's a big one. That's a hog there. Holy schmoly, that's a big one. All right, guys, so here we are with a, basically we'll call it six pounds because that's how you get on TV, a big iron. But that's a five and three quarter pound fish. Winston just caught it with his lucky banana hat. And you caught him on power bait and cheese, right? So a little bit of mix. So is that the biggest fish you've ever caught? Yeah, no. Are you going to win this thing today? I think I am. I think you are. You're winning right now, and that's pretty good. And are you his brother? Yep. Yep, and so you're in charge of enthusiasm, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're the fisherman in the group. Well, guys, this is what Tom Key's fish, Take Kid Fishing Days are all about right here is catching big fish like that with little kids like this. This rare, rare, rare opportunity for them to do it. They'll get to take it home and eat it as well. That's fantastic. If you want more information on what Tom Key does, you can look them up on social media. Tom Key Fish Farms are online as well. But it's a great event. Great sponsors make it happen, and great kids like this get to experience it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Well done, gentlemen. Uh, no, I'm allergic to fish. Don't tell anyone. Okay. Hi. Hide your sisters back home. Chicken and the biscuits, everyone's favorite while they're fishing. <laughs> uh, any sort of of of. Blah, 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 blah. Oh! Look at this. Oh no! He came off. No, he came off. He left. Yep. Oh! That was close.